Hello and welcome to Chip Off the Old Block Toys. This is Jeff here and today we have a twofer. And the reason we have a twofer is I had to build this on three plates and it comes right down the middle so I can't really split them. So I'm going to show you them both today. We've got a bowling alley and we've got the detective's workshop that started off as an official Lego set but it's actually two of them combined together to make a mod. All right, guys, I'm going to have to uh, zoom in so you guys can see the details. So let's go ahead and do that. But before I do that, hit the like button, if you will, and subscribe if you have not already. And let's go ahead and let's uh, start showing the insides of these buildings. OK, let's start with the, the detective's office. The detective's office, um, like I said, it is an official Lego set. It's a modular. Um, however, I bought two of them and combined them. Um, um, I can't remember where I saw the idea. But I did not buy instructions for it. I just kind of saw somebody else's idea and decided to build it myself. Uh, again, I'm using the skylights like, like I like to use. And let's start off here. The apartment is much bigger. And in fact, so big, it's empty. We did not decorate this part. All right. But we've got the water tower here and we've got some ventilation fans. Uh, oh boy, don't want to take off more than I could shoot here. Okay. Then next we have the actual detective's office. You've got room for a secretary now and her desk. You got the fan, filing cabinets, some pictures and some a little bit of waiting area. And then you have the apartment here. It is a little bit bigger, like I said, because, well, I've got two of them. Let's go ahead and get to the bottom level, get to the bottom of this. Okay, so part of my main complaint of the original detective's office is it's a pool hall with only one pool table. I have never seen a pool hall with only one pool table, so yes, I had a problem with that. So what I did was, uh, I think the original only came with one fan. Uh, I put four in, ceiling fans, and I put pool, two pool tables, and I put a bar back here, which it did not come with originally. On this side here, the original um, could only fit one chair. We've got two chairs uh, for people to have haircuts, so and an extra wig in the window. And if you've noticed, yeah, the other one was two windows less, and this was one window less. So all together, we were able to make it. It still has a secret uh, tunnel way underneath here for stealing the cookies, which that was a stupid story that Lego came up with. And yes, I say stupid because. Lego should know that adults, in order to buy a set that's almost $200, <clears throat> is not going to care about some story about some cookies. But anyway, um, that is not my story. That was Lego's. Now, let me put this together real quick, and we will slide over, and we'll look at the bowling alley. The bowling alley was purchased instructions. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> I no longer have the instructions. I built this... Uh, oh... 2015, 14, 15, around there. And I bought the instructions off some guy on the internet. And uh, well, it, uh, I no longer have those instructions. So I looked for them and I was gonna give them credit and I wished I could, cause I do like giving people credit for their stuff. I don't like presenting it as my own. Okay, here's the bowling alley. So the bowling alley, First of all, you got 10 pins, and you got this guy here, the statue, and it does say bowling. And <clears throat> even though the instructions are what they are, um, the guy did not use up the whole plate, and he only had two bowling lanes in here, which I'll show you later. I modified this and made it bigger. And because I did, I was able to put a vending machine in here, and I was able to put an extra game in here. I was able to uh, put bathroom an extra bathroom here and it's a handicap stall and th these are my own mirrors here and they do they say guys and gals here but you can't see it and I can't really zoom in on it and, Ooh, well there you go that's why you don't do it like that I'll have to fix that okay so here is the actual bowling alley itself the actual bowling alley itself, like I said, the original instruction only had two of these. So it left a part of the plate back here exposed, which I didn't see the reason for. I mean, if you're going to build a bowling alley and you got room on the plate, you might as well throw it on there. So I did. 
So the building is increased by six, seven studs because of what I did. I also put a cubby hole system over here for the shoes. Um, again, that was my idea. So the instructions, the original idea was, I, I wish I could give them credit, but the mod was my, uh, my idea. All right, guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. And if you have, hit the like button. Please subscribe. This is going to be in the show this weekend. So I hope you guys uh, will watch the video of our whole entire layout. It's not going to be all city, but the majority of it will be. Um, leave me a comment below and also turn on all notifications. That way you'll know when I put out a video. Another thing is uh, if you want to help the channel, be my marketing department by sharing this video on another social media platform. And also you can head over to BrickLink and buy some pieces off my store, about 800,000 pieces. And I usually ship with the one, within one business day. So if you need pieces for your mods and mocks, head over there. I'll take care of it. Usually with one day. It will be a little bit delayed because of the weekend because I'm going to be gone. But normally, like I said, one business day. And also, if you want to make a small donation, there is a link for PayPal uh, donations there. All right, guys. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on my next video.